Hey guys, this is the very start of the path. It's just to show you the Krypton Factor bit. For all you really, really old guys that was there at the dig, yeah, you know who you are. <laughs> We've got a little bit here, it only comes down about a foot onto some old foundations here. I've come across here. It's little steppy stones for your old bones. We just cut through a small area. Cut across here. We just need to duck. Lots of back bending activity at this bit. We get under here. And boom, we're in this woodland for about 30 feet in that direction is the path. Oh. And they've got a little bit of lambada here if you want to go this way just to show off. We can uh, underneath that. <laughs> but yeah, you've got just a little trek up this little slope. And it tops off just here. Nothing too crazy. It'll get you livened up in the morning anyway. I might not be as evil as to make it 9am. <clears throat> 9am is a bit... I don't know... Crazy. <laughs> but it turned out to be a good day, didn't it? Well worth it. Yeah, this bit here, there's a path just over behind this. We just follow up this narrow path. Don't worry if you see what looks to be holes not filled in along this part here. It's not what it looks like. Like this here. There's not just a non filled in hole. It's a pre-dug hole that has no metal in it. And I've got these at various locations going along. It's so I, if I'm at any point in the forest I can quickly go to it and ground balance my machine. So, no false calls on not digging holes. <laughs> Feel free to detect them on the way by, you'll not find any metal. <clears throat> but yeah, that's how you ground balance your machine. Sometimes you could be walking for ages and there's just not a zone where you don't pick up a signal. So, another one is molehills like this. When you get to them, they're easy to check through with a pinpointer as well. But yeah, our path is just over here. See? There's the path. Voila! I got... Ooh! Oh, yummy, yummy. Wow. All right, guys, we just got to follow the big white bunny rabbit there. So when you get here, just follow him. But you have to taste the mushrooms first. But yeah, that's it, and then we're on the path. It's not too hard. Now, Mrs. went and got us a little chipping tool, it's like a miniature pickaxe. So we're heading up here just now just to try it out. We'll go to where there's a semi-buried broken ginger bottle. We'll dig around that, go a bit deeper, see if we can maybe produce any signs of any other bottles or any other glass whatsoever. We'll see if we can actually even puncture the ground with even this tool. <laughs> but. Yep, me and little Blake headed up. All the ground looks mushy here, but I can almost guarantee it's still rock solid up there. I'm gonna head up, put our way around about the location of the broken ginger bottle, try and see if we can dig down any, see if we can find any other source of bottles of any kind, or any of the ceramics in that big chunk. So, hopefully, what we're really looking for is a complete bottle. Whether it be glass, ceramic, stoneware, doesn't matter, we're just looking for signs of a complete ball. And then we'll be giving Treasure Hunt in Scotland Mark a call 
see if he can get him and Tony out here and we can split up a bit and try and dig a few trenches here, there and everywhere and see if we can locate any even if it's just a few bottles in a group if we can even locate two or three bottles in one area we'll probably have a dig called get as many people digging up trenches as possible so see you when we get there good news guys first test hole now I was trying up the hill and I'm not finding stuff when I'm digging down and there's no even deposits and I'm thinking this looks like it's all been dug out compared to up there and all that looks like it's been mounded up so I'm thinking they've dug from down here to build all that up and that's why I'm finding it on the surface there now I've came down here I've found ginger bottle tops in this hole ginger bottle the base of it, some more side of it I'm digging into it, I'm finding like cod bottle glass I've just found a cork and another one of the things I found yesterday the other day out with Treasure Hunt in Scotland Mark it's a tenant's stopper this one's in a bit worse condition but that's all this just out of this one test hole it is looking good I'm starting to find ashy stuff here so I'll keep continuing just now and see if I can pull anything else. I'll leave everything in a file here. And if I dig any other holes, I'll leave whatever I get from each hole at the side of it. I'm going for a rake just now and see what else we can find. Back soon. Oh guys, we're still in the same test hole. Can you see it? Can you see that? I think I've found the hot spot. One-handed live dig. It looked like there was old bloody carpet or something inside this. It's definitely broken, that ginger bottle, but that's the first one from under the surface. Let's see if we can pry it up. Look at that. See what I mean? It's all this stuff and nothing else. Put it over there. And we'll get busy. We try and get deeper and see if I can make some sort of channel here. But it's looking good. Back soon. Right, well, we've dug about another five. Not very big holes or deep, but we're finding. Cave bar. Go for ginger bottles, like. I don't know what that is, but yeah. That came out of here, there's other chips of it. It's all there. Okay. We have another hole over here. Where's the bits gone from here? Oh no, it's not, it's over here. What's that? Cool, that's a ginger beer bottle top. Good stuff. Yeah, we're finding loads of sharded bits. This was a slightly bigger hole, and this came out of it. Proper ginger pots. Got that. Stopper, cork, and more ginger bottlenecks. But none are coming up full. I'm not finding any other bottles. Dug a pit there. Dug a pit over here. Stack bits up over here we found like a big chunky stopper thing more other little parts of ginger beer bottle cross right over there and went up to this hill and dug a few holes but only seem to be bits of tar and that so that whole big mound there might be fresher or newer stuff I don't know but all the bits that we're seeing here I keep seeing scattered bits and digging test pits and I'm not really seeing any ash not seeing any layers the bits of bottle out every now and then you just pass a bit sticking up out the deck, look at that you can tell that whatever digger that's been here though has just opened it up crushed the life out of everything I just I need to know where this mud came from 
or if it's been scraped up from here. Where's the hot spot? It's frustrating me now. See, look, there we go. There's one of the first other beer bottle lids tops. So, yeah, I don't know. Dug a few other holes, one up here. I was caving in a couple of the little mounds. Open the holes, this one here. This produced some ginger bottle bits. So we're producing plenty of the bits. Look at that, oh, that's a cracker. Wow. Just, I'm not pulling the goods. This here looks like it's all been dumped into the trees, so I'm not really want to be digging in there, but it's just showing loads of little mounds where like a digger's came in and dumped it off. I just don't know where they've taken the mud from. So we're gonna go for a little recce and see if we can see anything obvious because it's starting to rain. I'd rather be walking about and standing still. But yeah, we're off for another hunt, see if we can find another spot where any shards kicking about, and then we'll try there. I like, crap you not, Batman. I come over here, I'm like, there's a bit over here, and then I see this here, and I'm like, oh, even better, there's a lid there, and I look over and I see a brown top, and look at that. Wow, it's even got its poor tip. It's chipped on the back, but look at that, it's a big long one. And that was just lying here on the deck. So, we need to have a look about and see if we can find the source of these. Oh, what is this? Cool stuff. Yeah, how's that for a surface find? See what I mean? Look. Big bottles here, buried into the deck. Ginger bottles everywhere. Look at them, big mass piles of them. Big chunks. So yeah, found a surface find, man. That's wicked. I've never had one that colour. Shame about the big chip on the back of it. Off the lid, but still. Oh, it's got to be Maker's Mark. Ooh. Maybe check that with the jeweler's loop and see if we can find anything. But for just now, we're going to scope the top of this area out and see if we can find any hint of any more of these. We'll go for now, guys. Hey guys, it's getting really windy and rainy, but I just want to show you that. Look. I'm just walking about this place. And any step, we'll step over here. Right, there's some bits. Step up, there's a bit. There's a bit. We come over a step, there's a bit. There's a bit. Another one, there's a bit. More. The more you step in any direction, you're going to find a bit of this stuff, man. We've got, like, it's all over. We go over here, we've got this. It's just all ginger bottles. Loads of it. Yeah, to be digging for so long and finding shards and then just coming across that little beauty on the surface. Gutted. But yeah, we're just coming along. We have lots of bits just jumping out the deck. A lot of it's like bottles that have been broken. You think all the bits are going to be in there and you dig it up. There's only two bits. So we don't know what's going on. We've dug test holes, we've not come across any bottles. Certainly haven't come across any complete glass bottles. It's getting really cold and windy and wet. So... Bottles. Everywhere you go. 
try digging down and every time it's unsuccessful. So it's like the, the mud that's been dumped here has come from somewhere. But yeah, every hole disappointing. So I should be happy with the inkwell that I've found. But yeah. Look that. So first we thought it could have been low down, we checked all down there, we were only finding shards, big sections of bottoms and halfway up. We come higher up the hill again, and all we're finding is like this, broken shards everywhere. Right? There's the bottom, there's another big chunk of the side, and the top. Bit of side, another big bit of side, another big bit, tons of it, it's just everywhere. And it's all just stoneware, so scattered apart. You can tell it's not that somebody's been here digging, but you can definitely tell by the white cracks that this stuff's only just been broken. Big ginger bottles, come on. I'll get digging in a minute. See if I can produce anything out a couple more holes. But it's not looking good. Go for now. Alright guys, well I'm heading off in a really bad mood and I look over to find a plastic tube. Turns out to be possibly some form of poison bottle. It's at least cobalt blue, very thick and lost its head. It looks blue to me, but it could be black. No, it's definitely pure blue when you turn it into the light. Oh God, eh? We even totally deflated to find a really nice bottomless bottle. Now I'm in a bit of a pickle. So there is finds here, guys, there is. It's just, I think it's been ripped up from somewhere and spread all over the show violently. So it's looking promising as in the fact the stuff's here, but not promising in finding any whole stuff. But yeah, I'll leave that there for just now. Gutted. Yeah, we still might put out a dig and have people come out so we can maybe locate some areas. But for me, just now, I think we'll just take a slow wander back, having a look and see if we can spot anything else. But yeah. There you go, blue bottle. Check this little get out. Should be booting him up the arse to teach him a lesson. How can you outdo me like that? Check that guy's out. Check that out guys, I'm all tongue twisted. That little git's just found the best ginger bottle of today. Complete. Come and take me where you found it. Quick shit, hurry up. <laughs> Good shout though. Eh? Well done, buddy. It's a good find. We're still located. This area seems to be full. We've set we went a walk around this whole area and this only seems to be the hot spot area. What? Um, what is that? Yeah. Maybe just lying here somewhere. Yeah it was. Yeah. Yeah, there's the shape there, yeah. look. This is it. Right there. I found that like a way back there. And I found the good back, and I found the back flood guard over there. Well oh, that's good. That's a good find, buddy. High five. <laughs> Should have given me spuds. Nearly got me like Wolverine there. Oh, the best one we ever found. Look at that tiny inkwell with a tiny little chip out of it. God's sake. This is well better than yours. Look yours all snapped off completely. The junk, mate. Absolutely junk. Yeah. Yours is bigger, but it's junkier, mate. Good find, though. See, guys, uh, there's, there is... We're going to leave now on a happy note yeah. and the fact it's going to take us about 40 hours to edit it yeah. but yeah, we'll upload it 
Anyway, we've got big chunks everywhere. So it's starting to look like maybe this is the land. Go and pick the tools up, buddy, and bring them over. I want to show you guys something else. We found another one. But it was made of this grey stuff. Look at it compared to the... Cream stuff. It's mega grey. A couple of bits of edge. Thicker than the other stuff. But that's a cracker, isn't it? Are we taking it home? Yeah. Sure you don't want to leave it? Yeah. <laughs> right guys, we'll go for now. And so far that's been a hot spot for today. I'll give you a shout and see what's happening from here. But yeah, we've got a bit of a war going on. I'll turn mine that way. Mine's is well better. Look at the shine on that. And there's only a bit of mud that's on it. <laughs> Alright, see you later guys. Bye.